Well, could building a dam that would remove water around an overturned cargo ship be the solution for removing it from St. Simon's Sound? It's been almost two months since the 656 foot uh, ship, the Golden Ray, flipped on its side off the coast of Brunswick. All 24 crew members were rescued, and tonight, on your side's Robert Bradfield is looking into one option called a coffer dam. The Golden Ray still sits in St. Simon's Sound, but there may be some movement in getting the cargo ship removed. As much as anybody else, we want the Golden Ray out of the harbor. Billy Birdwell from the Savannah District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says the Coast Guard and the Georgia Department of Natural Resources asked about applying for a permit to build a coffer dam. Similar to what you see here, it's a watertight steel enclosure that's pumped dry to allow construction work below the waterline. It's the same kind of work used in building bridge piers or other structures within water. If they make an application and it is approved, which it most likely would be, then uh, what steps they take beyond that, what other engineering uses they have is strictly up to them. The Unified Command, which includes the Coast Guard and Georgia's DNR, says the ship will need to be disassembled where it is because it would be impossible to turn it upright and refloat it. In a statement, the Unified Command says, planning for a removal operation of this size requires a plan that prioritizes responder and public safety, protects the surrounding marine environment, and ensures the wreck is fully removed. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers, which is the permitting agency here, has not yet received an official application for a coffer dam, but there's also no timeline for when that process may start or be completed. The company that owns the Golden Ray would be responsible for paying for the salvage. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.